this as a sultry Valentine's Day look. Or whenever you want to use it. It's just, you cannot really tell in this lighting. It's pink with purple. And some magical liner. And then, I just did normal lashes, but if you want to do falsies, that's probably better. Then just neutral lips and highlighted and blushing cheeks. That real cool. Okay, so I've already applied foundation, powder, and eye primer. And so what you want to start off with is a good white eyeliner. This one is from Rimmel London. It's just white. <laughs> And you want to apply that all in your inner corner. And it's a little bit on the lower lash line. And then, there goes the eyeliner. <laughs> then use a white shimmer. This one is almost out. This one right there. Just any white shimmer. Okay, random blonde hair. That's cool. <laughs> and apply it all over the white liner. Take a brush like this and taking a well vanilla color. This is the actual color vanilla from the Urban Decay 15th. I don't really know what else to call it. I mean it's not it's like a cream shimmer. Cream. And apply that along your brow bone. Like you can't really see it on camera, but it's just adds just a little bit of extra shimmer and highlight to the brow bone. Alright, and then I'm using the color Tainted. It's just a light pink with some shimmer. You apply it right next to the white. And I'm taking the color Junk Show, which is a hot pink with like purple shimmer. Apply that to the rest of the eye. Really blending it in with the um, light pink. Like that. And you want a crease brush like this. And oh, here comes the 120 palettes. dark purple like that it's brownish on camera that's weird but it is dark purple I promise you and then put that on your outer V and make sure to really go out with it you want to really create an extended shape And then take a really dark gray purple. I'm using Half Truth. And just apply a little bit of that in the crease just to add even more depth. Like that. I'm going to take your favorite black um, pencil liner. Line your eye. It doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to be smudging it. And I, then I throw in a little wing. 
as I almost always do. That then, line your waterline. And take a liner brush and get black shadow on it. and smudge the line you've made. Don't smudge the wing. I never smudge the wing. Just like get the actual line. Like that and then bring a bit of it on the lower lash line too. And then, I mean, you can choose to do falsies. I'm actually not out of time this time. I just don't feel like putting them on. Um, so just apply mascara, curl your lashes if that's what you do. Personally. And then time for cheeks. Um, I'm actually just going to be using this. This, like, my parents got me this kit a couple of years ago when I first started really being into makeup, and it came with a bunch of little eyeshadows. Like, here, let me show. Markwins International. I've never heard of them. But, um, this blush came with it. And I'm going to use this up here, the highlighter. Actually, I'm going to use my finger. And there was definitely black on my finger. You know, I looked at my finger and there was no black on it. And there's definitely black all over this finger. Here, my thumb. <laughs> awesome. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Luckily, blush is going to be going on over that. And you can't really see too much of a difference between my skin and foundation skin. Okay, we're going to use a brush this time for safety. And that light color and put it on the top of your cheekbones or whatever highlighter you like to use then put it on the top of your nose bridge and then get this get a hot pink blush you are all good there. Now because you're going for a more sultry look, you probably aren't going to want to do natural lips. Um, so I would recommend a nude liner. The 
because, um, you know, it's Valentine's Day day, and if you're going for muscle lecture, like, you're probably not going to be on a day, and you don't want to, like, have lipstick rubbing off on him, let's be honest here. It's not attractive. Well, some people like it, but whatever. And lip liner's gonna stay on a lot better. Checking my fingers first now. Just apply the new liner and kind of blend it out. And then moisturize. What should I use? I'll use a cherry. This is just an Avon chapstick. I really like their cherry and then their sugar cookie ones. So my grandma got me a bunch of them for my birthday. Well, I don't think it was for any occasion actually. I think she just got them for me. Oh, whatever. I recommend something that has less color than the one I used. Because though it doesn't really give a ton of color, it still does kind of add a little pop of color. Yeah. But yeah, here you guys go.